for as low as 100 bucks you can buy a simple nose mask on the streets of lagos but how much protection does it really offer against covid 19 or the omicron virus in this edition of prime business africa investigation our team takes a deep look at the quality of nose mask sold in nigerian markets the COVID-19 and its Omicron variants are ravaging world's public health systems, mutating and generating more lethal variants. This creates the urgent need for governments to step up preventive measures, especially in developing countries like Nigeria and the rest of Africa, where poor healthcare systems are a persistent subject of concern even before the pandemic struck home in early 2020. COVID-19 has killed more than 5 million people in almost 200 countries. Although, vaccines can help. They have also proven not to offer complete remedy needed to weather the storm. This, no doubt, underpins the very essence of non-medical containment measures. The World Health Organization, WHO, therefore, outlines standard guidelines for preventing the spread of the COVID-19 virus to include social distancing, wearing of nose masks, regular hand washing, good personal and environmental hygiene, and vaccination. The WHO Director General, Tedros Adhonom, said vaccines alone cannot help any country in effectively containing health challenges associated with the virus, especially the Omicron variant rapidly spreading across the world. Commercial production or importation of nose marks have become widespread in Nigeria since mid-2020 when it became an integral part of the COVID-19 containment measures. It became a source of livelihood for many, young and old, who hawk it on major streets for a living. It was sold for as much between 200 naira and 250 naira, even 300 naira, in mid-2020, when the first set of lockdowns were introduced by federal and state governments. The more indispensable the piece of fiber became following official and private sector enforcement in public places, the more commercially viable the business of nose max production and sale became. With the enterprise also came different locally made and important brands, mostly from China, signposting different prices. Gradually, the once expensive commodity has become relatively affordable, selling for as little as 100 naira per unit. But Prime Business Africa checks reveal that a real surgical max should actually cost a bit more if it were to prevent COVID-19 infection. This, perhaps, explains why medical experts warn that not all masks prevent viral infection. They strongly urge the use of standard surgical masks. Substandard masks harm the quest by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, to contain Omicron variant with fake nose masks flooding the Nigerian market. Therefore, the very hope of containing the killer virus appears elusive. Good quality masks, according to the WHO, must be able to block particles of bacteria or virus from passing through. Such, it said, must have three ply layers. The innermost layer, middle and outer layer. The innermost layer absorbs moisture from one's body. Middle layer works as a filter to prevent bacteria or virus from permeating, while the outer part repels water from passing through. As observed, there are 
differences in prices of the brands sold in the market. The price difference is, is reflected in product quality. Some of the imported and locally produced marks are apparently made with substandard materials and sold at relatively cheaper rates for higher turnover and profits. Most of the imported marks are from China. Prime Business Africa learned that the material used in producing the middle layer, the melt blown filter, is very expensive. This explains why some producers or importers smartly double the inner layer rather than put the original absorbent material as the middle layer, the melt blown. They simply double or triple the inner layer material. To determine the quality of surgical masks to be used, the American Society for Testing and Materials, ASTM, tests marks and rates their quality based on levels of fluid resistance bacterial filtration efficiency submicron particulate filtration breathing resistance and flammability the u.s centers for disease control and prevention cdc recommended some testing criteria to identify good surgical marks in the midst of substandard ones which include visual water and flame blowing tests the visual test is simply to check whether the max has three ply layers for the flame blowing test it involves wearing a max lighting a small fire with a lighter and blowing the flame with your max on to see if you can extinguish the fire the idea is that if the melt blown filter is there there is no way the fire would go off no matter how hard you blow it but if it goes off through air blow it means the max is fake the flame or fire test requires cutting the max open and using fire to burn the middle filter. The idea is that since the melt blown filter is the middle layer, in the middle layer is made of plastics such as polypropylene or polythene, when fire is applied on it, it will only melt instead of catching fire while one made of paper easily catches fire and burns. The water test is to check whether water passes through from the layers of the max easily or it holds it. The idea is that if it prevents the water from, from passing through, it means the max is good. Based on these methods recommended for checking quality of max, Prime Business Africa's investigation team went to markets in Lagos, bought some brands of surgical masks and tested them for quality. During the visual test, it was discovered that all the max brands had three layers. However, some do not actually have the right components that make up the three layers of a good nose max as Nigeria combats Omicron. Instead of having the crucial melt blown, some of them had a similar absorbent non-woven material meant for the inner layer. Some also have very light melt blown material. Although this makes for cheap production, and more profit for the manufacturers and retailers. It means that such marks are substandard and could allow particles of virus or bacteria pass through, thereby giving unsuspecting users a false sense of security and exposing them to COVID-19 infections. During the flame blowing test, Prime Business Africa observed that a few of the more expensive brands proved okay and did not allow air to pass through and blow off the fire from the lighter, even with series of attempts. But virtually all the relatively cheaper nose marks were able to blow off the candle light. This means that the melt blown is either of poor quality or not a melt blown at all. 
The difference in quality of milk blown as observed during the experiment could also be linked to cutting cost of production to make more profits at the expense of unsuspecting users. Fingers have been pointed as the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, which regulates the distribution of surgical masks. A NAVDAC official who would not want to be named told Prime Business Africa that the agency could regulate surgical masks used in hospitals and not those in markets. The officer would rather not be quoted but opted to send some documents detailing what role NAVDAC played in monitoring quality of surgical masks used in hospitals and other public places. Three weeks after, the officer did not send the documents, neither did she respond to subsequent telephone calls. Another official at NAVDAC, who also pleaded anonymity, said nose masks were categorized as medical device and falls within the regulatory purview of the agency. She, however, noted that she was not in the position to speak on what the regulator was doing to stem the tide of substandard marks in local markets. All in all, it would appear that physical distancing and other anti-COVID-19 preventive measures would only begin to make sense when NAFTA and the Standard Organization of Nigeria, SON, pay honest attention to the quality of nose masks in the markets. Nigeria is in urgent need for another Dora Akunyele to rescue its 200 million people from the avoidable deaths.